Hello! As some of you know already, the Cobra Axe is one of the new weapons of this summer update of 2019. It is the first axe to have a nice component in its attack values, making it a must-have for axe users who are willing to exploit the best places for them. Some of you might already know it is worth to have one despite market prices being high on the item. That makes it difficult to acquire one, but once you have it, you know it's a purchase you won't regret doing. But do we know how good is this weapon? In this video I will compare it to some of the best weapons people currently use in the game to see how well it performs against them, let's find that out. We will make a quick comparison against weapons that share the same element, to some other weapons with different elements and also against some of the weapons that were released in the same update. What do we want to compare? We will use some measurable data to find out how good it is. We can measure its price, stats, number of places where it can be used as the best weapon or at least a pretty good replacement of currently existing weapons, and so on. The first characteristic to compare will be the price. Being part of the Cobra set makes it a bit rare to find one of these axes because it only drops from a couple bosses, with Scarlet Excel being the main one. With the price going as high as the equivalent of 6000 TP coins in some servers, it's clearly one of the drawbacks of this item. We can see similar weapons like Winter Blade being worth way less than this axe, so this is clearly a downside of the item. Simply put, relatively speaking, it's an expensive weapon. Now let's jump to the stats. It is what makes the item unique because it's the first ice based axe weapon. It has more damage than the two handed Reciser and the one handed Winter Blade, which makes it the weapon with more ice damage points in the game. It is also comparable to the energy two-handed Falcon Battle Axe in stats if you were an ectoplasmic shield. The new Tagral Blade, which is a nerf-based two-handed sword weapon, is a bit better stat-wise but slightly surpassed if the Cobra Axe is paired with an ectoplasmic shield. Cobra Club and Mortal Maze have the same stats but both have different elements, fire and death respectively. As most of you might know, the ice element is one of the most useful, if not the most one, in the game. This allows the wearer of this weapon to exploit the best they can some of the best places in the game. It can even be a decent replacement weapon for some places, so you are almost guaranteed to make a good use of it. In conclusion, the Cobra Axe is a fantastic weapon, one of the best elemental weapons in the game, the best one if you consider the ice element to be very important to you. The only drawback would be the high cost of it. It is quite rare, but it is worth having one because it offers so many advantages that other weapons won't be able to fulfill. It's not a weapon that will replace other elemental weapons like Falcon Battle Axe or the fully physical Lumbra Master Chopper for Axe users, but it opens up so many choices that the price is just worth it. If I had to choose between Falcon Battle Axe and Cobra Axe, I would definitely get Cobra Axe first because of the reasons I mentioned before. And that's it for this video, I hope you liked the breakdown of this item, if you did and want to see more item breakdowns like this one, smash like and leave the item you want to see in it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe too so you can keep up to date to what's new in the game, and I will see you in the next video, bye bye.